so I am Lady the Lake, and today I'm going to show you a little bit about how to get access to online data for streams. This is really important because it can help you monitor streams that are in your area, in your neighborhood. Also for looking out for flood, uh, flood uh, protection or planning, as well as if you're just interested in learning about what your stream is doing, how much water is going through that stream um, with flow and the height. So what I'm going to do is share my screen here so you guys can see what we are looking at right now. All right, so um, what I have up is the California Nevada River Forecast Center. This is one of my favorite sites for getting stream data. And so what you wanna do is just go to your browser and you can just search in there, um, California Nevada River Forecast Network and it'll pop up. And what you want is the hydrology river guidance one. So you'll click on that. Okay, you'll get a table like this or a graph like this. What I like to do is just go to home um, and this will give me more options so I can search for exactly what I want. Now, I would suggest that you um, explore this website, put in a good half an hour, um, you know, grab some coffee and just explore everything this website has to offer. It's amazing. It's one of my favorite sites. I use it for all of my stream prediction um, and planning, project planning on the ground. Whenever I'm doing anything in streams like sampling or monitoring, I go to this site. It's my go-to. All right, so what you want is to um, come to the screen like this. And what we can see is here's California and we wanna zoom in to where Clear Lake is. So just use your mouse, scroll in, there's Clear Lake. Um, now we have one green dot here. So this is actually the lake level. Uh, gauge here right there in Lakeport. And if you want to click on that, you can get some lake level information. So I'm going to show you how this graphic is broken down. So this gauge has everything. It has the name, it's in Lakeport, the location where it is. It also has a rain gauge on there. So the top part of this here is showing the um, precipitation. And then the bottom part of the graph is actually showing the lake level or the um, uh, in feet, how high the feet is in Rumsey here. So what we also have is these graphs are broken down into data from the past, from the last um, five days, prediction guidance data for the next five days, and then also current conditions um, during the last transmission of the data. So this line in the middle, and this is true for all of these graphs they provide on the California Nevada River Forecast Network, the line in the middle is the current conditions and the last time that it was um, updated. So here it was today, Thursday, October 28th at 9 a.m. And then you have all of the data that was observed at the station and measured for the last five days. So at any point in time, you can look at the blue side on the left and that'll give you the data that occurred in the past. So that big rainstorm that we just had last weekend, you can go here and you could look, just hover over that top high bar and it'll tell you the maximum amount of rain we had on that day at that time. So we look at this, we had 2.29 inches in that time period. Um, and that was October 24th at about 11 a.m. in that six hour observed period. So two inches over six hours is pretty good for us. All right, but that's the lake level data. We're here to talk about streams. So let's go back to our main page here. All right, okay, so here we are back at Clear Lake. And what I like to do is click on this rivers box right here because it gives me a layer that shows all the rivers in my area, just so I kind of know what I'm looking at. Great, so the blue lines are the rivers here. Now let's say you're concerned about um, potential floods coming up. So down here on the right is significant river flood outlook. So if you wanna know if there's a flood warning in your area, go ahead and click on that box and it'll give you the latest flood outlook product. Now a box will pop up and says, no significant river flooding expected in this forecast area. That's great news, we don't have any floods expected right now. Um, if there was any floods in this area, it might show some of these things in these um, in these colors. So uh, yellow would be monitor. There might be a flood, but we're not sure, but you better monitor conditions. Red would be expect a flood above flood stage. And then um, purple is danger. Think about, um, you know, uh, monitoring those, but also potentially evacuating. So that's a good tool for if you're in a flood prone area and you want to know if there's any um, significant floods in the forecast. So coming up in the future. So let's click that off because we don't need that. So what I want to do is look for some gauges and streams near me. Um, and I want to go up here and I'm going to look under the rivers and reservoirs section, deterministic forecast. And so we have forecast points. I'm also going to click this other points. That's the one that I um, want to look at. 
So what you've noticed, it's kind of hard to see, but let's zoom in, is now you have these little clear dots on some of these creeks, um, and that shows you some stream data from those gauges there. So here we have Middle Creek, and you can see that, that table right there. And let's go ahead, let's click on Middle Creek. Let's say I live um, somewhere around uh, Elk Mountain Road, around Middle Creek, I wanna know what that stream is doing. So here we are at Middle Creek and Upper Lake, that's the um, code for that um, point. And so what we have is the river forecast um, graph here. So again, we have precipitation, snow melt on the top. And again, we see we have that um, rain, uh, the rain data from this last week, the last five days. And look, we have some predicted rain coming up. It looks like we have 0.2 inches coming up on November 1st on Monday. Um, so that's a forecast. So that's uh, predicted um, information. Now let's go down here to the stream gauge. So on the left here, this is the height of the stream, which we call stream stage, which is in feet. On the right is gonna be the flow measurement. So flow is usually measured in CFS, which is cubic feet per second. And so that'll give you the estimated flow or the flow that was observed and measured at that point. So let's um, look at here. Remember we had dry, 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 bam. Then we got that big uh, rainstorm last week. So the peak of that rainstorm in Middle Creek, if we just hover over that and it's not letting me hover, <laughs> there we go. Uh, so the peak at that um, point of the storm was 11 feet was the stage height. So the stream height with a CFS or flow of um, 1418. So about a thousand and a half cubic feet per second was flowing through there at the peak at that moment in time. And that was um, on October 24th. So that's some great data right there. Now let's say, okay, that's a great graph, but you wanna actually download that data and look at it, the numbers. You can go over here to the right. And what you can do is you can download um, the CSV, which is actually at each time what, that it measured every 15 minutes, half an hour, what that um, data was. So that's a great um, tool there for you. Now, if you wanted to scroll down further, there's some more information about that gauge available here. Here's the location on the map. So you get exactly where that gauge is located. Um, and then if you go down further, you have a little bit of weather information. So it's really like a great one-stop shop for all of your you know, river guidance, river stream needs, as well as your um, weather needs and expectations forecast for that point. So I'm gonna show you um, one more site. So um, another site that is uh, useful is CDEC, um, and that is the California Data Exchange Center. And this is through the Department of Water Resources. So they manage along with USGS, a lot of the gauges and a lot of the creeks and streams around here in Lake County. So this is another good resource. Um, now, just so you know, a lot of these gauges are the same. There's not like one set for water resources and one set for USGS. Um, a lot of times it's the same gauge. They just share information and then they partner on managing and maintaining those gauges. So we're really lucky that we have these agencies, both federal and state, um, being able to monitor this network for us. So here we are at the California Data Exchange Center. And again, this is one of those sites I would encourage you to explore, see what it has to offer. There's lots of stuff on here. We could spend weeks and weeks going through all this. Um, but I'm going to show you a quick way to get to a, a gauge in your area. So you want to go up here to query tools um, and we want to go to search for CDEC stations, but we want to use the station locator map, right? Uh, you probably might not know what the gauge is called near you, but you know where you are and the nearest stream. So that's what you want to search for. Great. So, wow, look at that network of streams and data stations in the state of California. It's amazing. So we want to zoom in here with our mouse down to City of Clear or down to Clear Lake. Um, and I will tell you that during flood events or heavy rain or weather events or, you know, frost events or storm events, there's a lot of people accessing this data or this website. So sometimes it can slow down. So it's really good that I showed you two different sites. Um, just because sometimes the traffic on one kind of box it down, it gets really slow on loading and you might not get results as fast as, as you want that. Okay, so here is Clear Lake and we have, here's our little Lakeport gauge for the height there. We also have one um, down there on Cache Creek that shows us the flow coming out of Cache Creek out of the lake. Um, and then we have some other networks here. So before I showed you Middle Creek gauge, which was, was up here, now let's look at, there's one down here, um, uh, in Kelseyville. So it's downstream from Kelseyville at Soda Bay Road. There's a gauge there. So we're going to click on that. 
Um, let's say you, you live near somewhere on Soda Bay and you wanna know what Kelsey Creek is doing. So this is what you'll get pop up. It talks a little bit about where that gauge is a lot long um, and agency that monitors that. And then you're gonna have some options here. And what I would do is since we're looking maybe for flow is we just wanna go to flow here. Maybe we wanna look how much water coming out. Um, and this will pop up. So this is the graph from the last 30 days. If you look on the bottom, it gives you the end date and the span for the 30 days. Um, and we could see that, wow, at that big event that happened this weekend, we had over 3,500 um, cubic feet per second of flow. That's a lot of water, almost twice as much of what came out of Middle Creek. So Kelsey Creek bringing its own um, drop in water into Clear Lake there. Now, this is, um, you know, a, a long time here is the 30 days, so not much is going on. Let's say you wanted to look at this a little closer. So I actually would put a span here. Um, maybe you wanted to go um, eight days. There we go. So now we can get a little closer if we want to see how that that flow went up and how it came down. Um, give us a little more um, focus there. So uh, that is, you know, a rundown of some of the resources available to you if you want to look for stream data online. There is so much more, and I encourage you to explore those websites. Um, take the time, learn what's there before an event happens where you're going to need that information right away. Um, and with that, thank you so much. I'm so glad that you um, uh, tuned in to Lady of the Lake, uh, my first video uh, information for you. Um, and I hope you have a great night, a great evening and use those resources and have fun, be safe. Thank you so much.